describe the emotion from the start of the game? You know, how, yeah. did you, how did you play knowing it was your last game? I tried to play like I've played, you know, kind of all my games, but just savor each moment a little bit more. And, you know, before the game, I just told the team, like, let's have fun today. You know, that's what it's about. Let's play for each other and have fun. And I think, um, you know, we did that. We fought back from being down two goals and we just kept fighting. And it was an exciting, fun game. And um, I loved it. And I, I savored every minute of it. Did I see were you crying before you came out on the field a little bit? Yeah, I've teared up a few times. I'm trying to lag. I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> but, um, uh, a little bit, yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been definitely an emotional roller coaster. I think some, you know, announcing I'm retiring, and um, it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss it a lot, you know. And I love this game, and I will always love it. So, and I've had so many special memories and amazing friendships, and um, obviously playing in front of this crowd and being part of this whole experience is um, so special, and I feel very fortunate. What was it like going up and? being part of the Riveters at the end. That was really cool. I mean, you feel their energy obviously the entire game, but just to like be right up there with them and kind of be in it and, um, you know, to shake their hands and give them hugs and um, it was just really cool. And we feel such a part of that community. You know, that's what's so cool about us and the fans is that it's like, we are so close and it's like, I don't know, we really feel part of that. And to go up there and be able to like be with them on my last game was really special. Were you worried a little bit going down 2 0? And then on the flip side, how exhilarating was it when you crossed that ball into Alex and Joey <laughs> got the goal? I mean, just what was, what was going through your mind? Yeah, oh man. I mean, yeah, obviously, like going down 2 0 is not great. Um, but I just, I don't know, we'd had like, we had some good energy that whole first half. You know, we'd been doing things and, you know, having some chances. And I kind of just felt like we were going to come back. Um, and then, yeah, to get, uh, I guess, an assist of the assist, kind of. But um, that was so awesome. And I feel like that's a ball that I'd love to hit if I'm playing in the outside back. And I just felt like it was cool to be able to have that in my last game. So wanted a goal. I almost had a shot. That <laughs> that one, I would have, like, lost it. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I lost it anyway on that one. So it was very cool. What's your biggest hope for the team going forward and maybe for the league in the next couple of years? Um, I think sustainability and just like, well, for the league, obviously, sustainability and kind of just like continuing to push, um, you know, the professionalism of, all, of the, te the league as a whole. And I think for the Thorns, just, you know, I mean, we have such an amazing organization and we're so lucky to play here. But um, yeah, I, I think just continuing to push and, um, and, you know, kind of lead the league in that. Any other questions? Does the medical school have a intramural soccer team? <laughs> I'm sure they do, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that your next game? Yeah, maybe. And, you know, being San Diego so my parents get to watch, it'll be nice. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, I'll always play, I'm sure. I don't know exactly in what capacity yet, but um, I can't stay away from the game. I know that, so.